Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the printer not activated error code 30 you're coming across on your computer. So when you're trying to hook up your printer, or perhaps it just came out of the blue, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd suggest would be to make sure your printer's turned on. So if it's turned off, I'd recommend turning it on. Even if it is already on, just I would recommend turning it off and then turn it back on again. And then see if that has resolved the problem. If you're still having an issue, go ahead and open up the star menu, type in control panel. Select the control panel option from the list and go ahead and open that up. Set your view by up here to category view and then select hardware and sound. Now you want to go select devices and printers. And now select whatever printer you want to be your default printer from the list here and then just go ahead and select the option to set as default so just right click on it and then set as default printer. So if for some reason it was not set as default you just want to go set it as default basically and there should be a little check mark next to the printer indicating that it is the default printer on your computer. Another thing you can try would be to go ahead and close out of here. Open up the star menu once again. Type in device manager. Open up device manager from the list. I'd recommend expanding the print queues section. Locate your printer from the list here. Right click on it and then select update driver. Search on Mac, we've updated driver software, and then see if it is able to locate anything online. So it might say the best driver for your device already installed. You can try searching for updated drivers on Windows Update. You could also, if you went back to the beginning here, select Browse My Computer for Driver Software, and then select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And there's a very good chance that you will see some drivers in here, preferably if there was one from the manufacturer. However, if you're still having an issue, you can try installing a generic software device, such as a generic driver here, and that's worth a shot, especially with older printers. And then just select Next and hopefully it'll say it has successfully updated the driver and then go ahead and see if your issue has been resolved at that point. So pretty straightforward process here guys. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.